Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome Jim to the White House. I was impressed with his accomplishments over at the FTC, but he's going to make an even bigger contribution over here. Jim, as all of you are aware, is a preeminent free enterpriser and a deregulator. You're my kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some major challenges ahead of us, and I feel better already knowing that you're here. The biggest monster of all, of course, is deficit spending. And Jim, I hope your sword is sharp and ready to cut. The American people want the deficit down. I want it down. And we don't want to do it by raising taxes or endangering our national security. I think we've got reason for confidence that the progress won't happen on its own. We've got to make it happen. So with good work, hard work, and individuals of principle on our team, individuals like Jim Miller, things are going to get done. I'm sure of that. So again, welcome aboard, Jim. And now let's get on with the swearing in. Thank you, sir. You're over here, Mr. President. Yes. All right. Jim, if you'll put your left hand on the bottom. I, James M. Miller III, I, James M. Miller III, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge, and I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter, on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, distinguished guests and friends, it is an awesome responsibility I'm taking on. I want to thank you, Mr. President, for the, for the confidence you have shown in me and the Senate in confirming you. With God's help and with the help of all of these people in this room, I shall not let you down.